All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Please let me know if you have any difficulty. Uh, today is a Friday, and yesterday we have like eight hours almost of broadcasting. Uh, but YouTube have a problem. It's taking long to load all the eight hours. So have patience. Maybe tomorrow is going to be ready. Uh, I saw co some comments of Muslims in YouTube and I wanted to speak about it as a beginning or a start of what we uh, We would discuss today One of the Muslims and let me show you uh, uh, In the screen what he said I will show share with you uh, He said let me zoom in hold on Don't trust this mocker. Mm -hmm. Why? According to him, if somebody is mocking, you should not trust. Mm. I mean, why the logic of the Muslims is always upside down? Uh, if somebody is mocking, he should not be trusted. So Muhammad calling us filthy animals, the worst of the creature, pigs and donkeys, the worst of uh, creation, the hypocrite, the kuffar, uh, the najis, which means filthy, dirty. All of this, this Abdul, he did not find it as mocking and rude. Suddenly, a Muhammadan, he want to teach us what it does mean to be a rude. And the important here, look what he said. He does not know Islam, nor even Christianity. He is a hypocrite. He is not. Oh, there is more to show. Hold on. Let us click here. Oh, that's all. Ah, okay, not a Muslim nor a Christian, but rather an evil person. You see, the Muslims, when you speak to them in a nice way, they make fun of you, stupid Christians. You worship a man, stupid Christians. Are you stupid donkey? You corrupt your Bible. Is that a mockery of us or not? When you say to billions of a human being, you corrupt your Bible, is that a mockery? When you say to the Christians that your Jesus is no one and even Muhammad he is going to sleep with his mother What do you think if I say Mr. Lini Pakistani boy, I am going to sleep with your mother uh, Is that a mockery or this is a an act or a statement of respect? A follower of the devil Is speaking about mockery? Those people, when they speak to me, they notice that they are no match and how stupid their cult. So they try to put what they have on them on us. It is us who do mockery. It's not you Muslims. You are the one who do mockery even in your God. What kind of God, the God who is a pimp, who is exists just, just to, to create for you vagina? What kind of God you tell us about that he is going to make your penis endless. That is God. You are the one who do mockery of your God. The God who his business and his job is just to create long penis, endless penis. That is not God. That is a doctor for transgender from Thailand. That is a mockery. The God who he say that he sit in the top of a rooster. That is a mockery. Have you ever heard of a God he sit in a rooster? Have you ever heard of a God he will do striptease? 
Have you ever heard of a God? He make fun of himself saying that he converted to Islam and he say Shahada. And you are talking about mockery. So this is the first Abdul here. Uh, there's many comment actually. I want to answer them. It's fun. Actually, it's fun. You see, the, the second you see a Muslim is happy from a Christian person, not necessarily a Christian prince. It's mean this person is no Christian. The second the Muslim they start saying to you, God bless you, that's mean the devil bless you. It's an honor for me that you are unhappy from what I do. Otherwise, I must be a corrupt man. We continue with the comments of the angry Abduls. Please don't forget to copy the link of YouTube and share it with your friends so people will know that we are on air. Dozni Mania. Mr. Dozni Mania. Let us see what Dozni Mania he have for us to say. I don't know if the text is clear for you guys to read. Is it clear? Is the text of those guys are clear? Because I like you to read it. You know, I, I don't delete Muslim comments, by the way. I don't delete it. I keep it as it is. They call me names. I, I don't delete Muslims. You know, let, uh, because this is the best way to show everybody how stupid this cult is. Christian Prince, Lul, and a Christian cultist, full fall for this lies and deception. Prepare for the judgment day when you will be held accountable for deceiving people for the lies you spread against Creator Almighty. Let me give you the good news, you Abdul, you idiot. According to your God, you stupid, he will took or he will take all the sin of the Muslims, even if it is in the size of high mountains, and he will place it on all the Christians anyway. So according to your God, look how justice he is. In the Quran, it says that Allah is a just man. He is just, just God with the leg and, you know, penis and etc. But yet, he says, every soul will pay for its own sin. But yet the idiot, he say by his prophet mouth, that Allah will take the sin of the Muslims and will place it on the Christians. So your sin will be placed on us. Anyway, who is the deceiver? Yesterday we have Abdul like you, he called me, and I asked him, do you really believe that a child who commit no sin, and he is a child of a Muslim family, he is an infant, he just died, he will go to hell? He said, no way, it doesn't make sense. But the second I showed him that the one who said, is, said that is the stupid Muhammad, he don't want to believe it. It is your religion, you idiot, which teaching you that a child who is an infant, he will go to hell. An infant, he is born of a Muslim family, he will go to hell. Go save your babies before you come to me and teach me about how to be saved. If your babies are going to go to hell, what kind of God you have? And what kind of logic he have? Your God is the God of the stupidity. I want to just go over the Muslim comment first. Okay. First of all, I am a Muslim, but I am not angry at all. That's weird. I never saw a Muslim. Never. I mean, are you sure? I am not very educated either, but I always seek the truth and I don't like injustice. Just watch some of your program. I can see you have, you are a very educated, learned man. And you had the questions about Ramadan in one of your show. Show me a verse in the Quran where it says you have to fast Ramadan. Read more. The ayat about Ramadan in 2.185 is very clear. Unless I am missing something, please explain CP. And the topic about Ramadan started, starts already. I, I, I don't know why he is uh, quoting in this video. This video, I don't know which video this one uh, he is quoting from. Uh, anyway, 
my friend uh, first of all I never saw a Muslim and he's polite and I wonder why you are polite I'm really shocked this guy is not angry that is not normal your prophet in his Quran the fabricated book of God he said and the one who witness the moon not the month of Ramadan you see uh, the Muslims they have a fabricated translation and because and even even those who don't you know like uh, even those who read Arabic most of them they are ignorant they do not know like what the Quran is, is really saying if we go right now in the Quran let us open the web page and I will show you the screen in a second okay let us go there Please invite your friends and tell everybody we are up. And we are here to stay. Uh, my Skype is not open yet. So if there is any Muslim would like to call me, just let me know, please. I did not open my Skype yet. All right. If we go in the Quran, Uh, we will find the following. Femen shahida minkum shahr fal yasumhu. If we read the word shahida, shahida is eye sighting. Eye sighting. You don't eye sight a month. Have you ever heard of somebody's eye sight the month? It's impossible. Month is time. You cannot decide the, the, the time. If we read the translation, chapter 2, verse number 185, it says, Ramadan is the month. It doesn't say that. It says shahr. Today in Arabic, the word shahr means month. Yes, but this is false translation because we have to go and see what the word meant at that time. Which was sent down uh, which was sent down the Quran as a guide for mankind But this is a false statement too because Quran was not sent all of it in the month of Ramadan He received few verses supposedly so this is a false statement because either you send the Quran all of it in month of Ramadan only and That can be possible through many years or you throw it in like in the period of the Ramadan Which is supposedly a month as we understand today However, you will see a clear understanding for the word shahr, which here is appearing as a month. Hmm? It says, So everyone who present at uh, who present at this home during the month of Ramadan should spend spend it in fasting. It doesn't say that in Arabic. If we change the translator, you will see suddenly the translation change. Read with me, please. <clears throat> and whoever you present, let him fast the month, and who is ever of you sick, but it doesn't say that. It doesn't say whoever of you. What is that? What present? Fast translation. Let us go to other translate translator. Maybe we can find one of them saying the truth. Here we go. So whoever of you sight the crescent or the crescent moon, do you see it? Finally, we get the Abdul is getting it right. Ramadan is not a month. Ramadan is a moon. When you see the moon, the Arabic is very clear, but those idiots, they try to translate to you the Quran in the language of the street today. Today, uh, the Arab, they use the word shahr as a word mean uh, month. But this word never been as word month. This is not the meaning. The word shahr is a moon. And because, because, Muhammadan, they copy from the Jews uh, the moon calendar, which is in the Jews. If you go right now uh, and search in the Hebrew language, you will see that the word shahar means moon. 
So shahar is not a month. It is a moon. And whoever of you cite specific kind of moon, as you see, then you are in Ramadan. That is the first night of Ramadan. And the first night of Ramadan, it is not really a month again. It is the period where this moon is in the sky. So you see the moon, you start Ramadan. The moon disappear, you finish Ramadan. The new moon come, that's supposed to be the new month automatically. But at the end of the day, it is a new moon. I hope what I'm saying is clear. If there's anyone don't understand what I'm saying? You cannot see the, the month, right? All translation of Muslims it says that whoever of you, even in this one, actually, even in this one, whoever of you, because he's an idiot, he is trying. I think I think he got it maybe from somebody uh, a little bit learned. But in the beginning, he made the same mistake again. He said the month of Ramadan. Where is the word of month of Ramadan? Shahar is a word mean this moon. That's why it's appearing there. And this is why the Quran says, whoever of you cite, you don't cite a month. Citing is about seeing. And this is what the Muslims do. When they see the moon, they start Ramadan. So Ramadan is the coming of the moon of Ramadan. And this is why Islam is a very much connected to the moon cult. For this is what they took from other religions which is the same as the moon god Allah or al Lah, and the Muslims they are the last one to know I mean the, the Quran is full of stories proving to us to us like they see the Muslim they say to you the Quran says it clearly don't worship the moon who said that the, the moon god that's when you worship the moon Abdul you worship the moon god not the moon and the reason it is the crescent moon the crescent moon that because the moon god when he have the crescent moon that mean his horn the horn of the god this is the horn of god and this is when the god when he show his horn he is horny and he want to have sex and fertilize you see the moon god and Baal is not different. There is many names for the same gods in the Middle East. But those Abdul, the Arab, they are naive, savage. They do not know really. They are copying from others. They are followers, not makers. If you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad, he said the following about Baal. He say a very funny statement. Exposing Muhammad about his understanding uh, if you go here let us make it exactly it's the easiest way for me huh? the search engine sometime is not good al -Khaliqin. All right. If we go here in chapter 37, verse number 125, it says, Are you or will you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? What do you understand from this verse? When you see this verse, you understand what? You understand that you should not call upon Baal correct this is what you understand but notice here the problem with this verse anyone notice the problem 
Anyone notice the problem? There's a big problem here. Muhammad, he just admitted that Baal is God. But yet his God deserve more to be called. You see, when I say I am the best of the students, it's mean I admitted that I am one of his students and many like me. Correct? If I say I am the best of those who speak against Islam, that's mean not, I'm not the only one. When Muhammad, he said that Allah is the best of the creators and the other creator here in the list, there's only one name. It is Baal. So what Muhammad is asking us to do? He is telling us that there is many creators. One of them is Allah and one of them is Baal, at least two. However, Baal is the best but not compared to Allah. Allah is better even than Baal, which means the best of the best is Allah. Baal is better than because there's many gods who did not mention them. Remember, even the Muslims themselves in their books in the Quran is speaking about the three daughters of the God of, of Allah, of Allah. Allah himself, supposedly, the God of the Muslims, have three daughters. So why Muhammad here, he did not mention them? Because here there's a competition of the biggest names of God. Manat and Allah al Uzza, they are divine, the goddess, but they are not equal to those gods. So Muhammad here is telling you, let us compare between Baal and Allah. Allah is the best of the creator, and Baal is a creator. Now the Muslim they will say to you, No. Here it doesn't say that Baal create anything. Here it says just Allah is the best. How you say he is the best of Baal if it's just an, a, a, a statue or, he's a, or, a, or a piece of rock? The best of what? How you can compare me with something not from my qualification or not from my kind? You see, we compare God to God if there's many gods. We compare apple to apple. We don't compare apple to car. Is that correct? When we compare, we compare between two things from the same kind. Otherwise, you will look stupid. Imagine if you want to compare between a man and a fly. I mean, what is the compare? And when you say he is the best of the creator, you confirm you are comparing him in which manner? The manner of a creation. That means both of them, they share the same ability, which is to create. But however, according to Muhammad, Allah is better than Baal. Do we have any Muslim who don't agree? Let us open Skype. <laughs> just to be sure if there is any Muslim would like to call he will be able to reach out for us and we will hear him you know we like to hear the Muslims and we hear their opinion and it doesn't matter how stupid it is still it's good if you watch my videos or you know the Muslims calling me each time I say something to the Muslim, they will say to me, I never heard this before. Where are you are getting this from? Muslims did not know what Islam is about. Like the idiot yesterday, we are talking to him about his God, who is telling him, it doesn't matter if you sin or you don't sin in Islam. You see, the idiot Muslims, they think if he sin, he go to hell. That is not what Islam. Islam has nothing to do with you sin or not. Muhammad he confirmed that it is Allah he decree for you in your destiny your fate your fate is created for you before you are created and you'd commit sin or not it does not make any difference you will go to hell if he decide to go to you go to her, to hell from before the creation the same as the story of Adam as we showed you yesterday in the hadith 
Islam is a collection of contradictions collections of contradictions anyone would like to call me feel free you are more than welcome and I would like to to, uh, to have you hello Assalamualaikum. Uh, can I be heard? Yes, Mr. Fuad. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay. How are you doing? I'm um, great. My my Lord is keeping me in good health and wealth. How about you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Well, let me ask you. When you say Alhamdulillah, what happened to the name of Allah? Ah, uh, Lillah actually means God, Ilahi. No, so... that's false. Do you want to show it's you? a general word for uh, God, uh, like no. Allah is a name. Allah is a name, right? Yeah. Alhamdulillah is still yeah. His name. If we go right now in the Quran, yeah, and we go to chapter one, I'm not going to look for a different chapter. All right. I think that's the second verse. Yeah. If you go to you don't chapter, have to go that far. It's the second okay. verse. Okay. Yeah, Quran. the second verse. So if you see here, if we look together, I don't know if you can see my screen. Yeah. All right. This one is it different from this one? Uh, which one? Or you can't see. Verse number one and verse number two. The second word. What is a different? Yeah. What is a difference between them? Well, the second one does not have uh, alif in it. Correct. And but is it the same? Is it the different? Is it a different word? What is that? Well, uh, the second one is a different word. It sort of means uh, God. No. And Rab means the provider. No, that's not true, Prince my God, friend. Provider of no, the words. no. You will see nobody translated as Alhamdu to God. All the translators, they translated as thanks to Allah. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so you see, okay, so why did it not say thanks to God? Because simply it did not say God there. It says, Alhamdulillah. Let me teach you something, my friend. Yeah. The word Allah, the word Allah contained the following letters. This is the word in front of you, as you see. The first yeah. one is A and then L. Yeah. All right. A okay, L have a question I well, hold on Be before before, before we go to the question discussing. let me finish this one please a l yes. and then la that is Allah a l in the Arabic today equal to the however that's not really what is the original of the word in the old Aramaic or even Hebrew a l is equal to the word God. All right. So, right. so when well, I don't have any knowledge of. No, I'm uh, just no problem. We are here to is. we are here to teach for free. Okay. So L is L is a word by itself, meaning God. So now let us study it again. L. Then la mean God la. This is why here we can take the al from the beginning. For I'm saying here to la to li equal in Arabic to two li la. So li. La to la. That is the real name of your God, and la is the moon God, and you can search for it. It take you two seconds to find it. Uh, yes, yeah, but the Surah Al Fatiha uh, it contains more than one name of God. Uh, just like if you uh, it doesn't matter. Check the other words, it says, yeah, but you see, no, no, no. You see, all those the Muslim they call them names are not really names. You have only one name for your God. It is Al Lah. The rest are attribute titles. 
Well, Allah says uh, that call Allah with any good names, uh, only the ignorant uh, fight, uh, thank you, thank fight you. over the but names the, of but Allah. But do you know why Muhammad, he made that verse about you can call Allah with any name? Do you have an idea? <laughs> well, I've never heard this before. Well, here we go, no, guys. Did I, say, did I say two seconds ago, Muslims, they keep saying to me each time I speak to them, I never heard this one before. Correct? This is what the Muslim says to me because you Muslim do not know anything about Islam. Well, we go, shouldn't be comparing me. My friend, my friend, I'm not saying I'm not comparing you to anyone. I'm just saying yeah. a general a statement that all Muslims say is the same to me because here they explore that they do not know really anything about Islam and they found themselves learning from someone supposedly he is not even a Christian. Now, if we go in the Quran, it says. Uh, uh, Muhammad he mentioned that to Allah all the good names but the reason for him he mentioned that Muhammad he decided to write a letter and suddenly he added the word Ar-Rahman and then the Arab they said to him who is Ar-Rahman the Rahman we know is Rahmanul Yamama Rahmanul Yamama is a guy who claimed to be a prophet of God and he called himself Rahman and his God is a Rahman So they said to him who is a Rahman read with me carefully Paul I do Allah or I do our Rahman a yama to do for the whole asma or host now what is that mean let us read translation Right I call upon Allah or I call upon Rahman by whatever name ye call upon him it is well or it, it is for him belong all the most beautiful names but this is the name of the god of the guy who call himself the muslim they call him musaylama to make fun of him muhammad he liked the name hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on muhammad he liked the name why muhammad why muhammad he did not use the word Rahman. listen 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 uh, uh, uh just give me a, you know i will finish my my statement and you talk why muhammad never called allah Ar rahman before this moment Well, uh, I believe the Quran alone. So, I'm showing you Quran. I'm showing you Quran, Quran, my friend. I'm showing you Quran. No, I'm not, I'm not sure if they call him Rahman <laughs> or something. Okay, I'm showing you Quran. I'm not showing you anything. All right. So, yeah. as you see here, the the verse is exactly is clear. Somebody is asking him, "Why oh, you are calling him Rahman?" So he's saying, "Well, I call him Allah, or I call him a Rahman." It doesn't matter all the good names belong to him but the question here this is mean that muhammad he never mentioned the word ar-rahman before otherwise this is a question should be given to him from the first time and people should not be surprised because he said to him he said to them ar-rahman from the beginning so well, the first verse of the quran is bismillah rahman uh -huh. thank you very much this is going to you for you made it safe if this verse is about Muhammad questioned by the Arab why you are calling your God a Rahman because you never called him actually they accuse him that he have two gods now he have a Allah and a Rahman for as they know a Rahman is different from God so he said well I call him a Rahman or I call him Allah it doesn't matter all good names belong to him so it doesn't matter what the name my God does not have a name suddenly but the fact is as you said in the first verse in the Quran it says that Bismillah Rahman Rahim correct yeah correct okay then if this is the first time Muhammad he mentioned the word Ar Rahman how the word Ar Rahman appear in the front and in many chapters in the Quran this is the chapter 17, which is, which is chapter number 107, which means Muhammad, he did not receive the word Ar-Rahman or he did not mention the word Ar-Rahman ever until it was at the end of the Quran. So who is the one who is adding a Rahman all over?
let me be sure about the number of uh, revelation uh, see this is what happened when you grow old so what do you think my friend well cp that's your uh understanding of the this, Quran. Is, not, this is not uh, my understanding my friend believe... my friend don't tell me this you, you see this is the problem with muslim when i talk to them they insult me by saying this is your understanding this no, is all no, no. this is all um, this is all interpretation I, I of muslims because i don't claim that i know everything regarding the quran because i reject the top yeah. i believe this is just a general verse and it doesn't have any sort of background what do you mean? Like doesn't in have the any tafsir, sort? they might have added something. You might be quoting me from the tafsir. My friend, the verse meaning is so clear. I call him a Rahman. I call him Allah. It doesn't matter. There is no reason for him to say. It doesn't matter what I call him a Rahman or Allah, unless. Well, the verse verse says, "Call Allah made him say." No, it doesn't uh, hold, on, hold on. So, but uh, why why we wanna go and go in a circle uh, for it? Why he is saying, I call him, I call upon him Allah or a Rahman, it doesn't matter. I all the good names belong to him. That's mean. That means Muhammad, he never used that word. The people they are surprised about it. What who is a Rahman? There is a question here. This is an answer for a question. Who is a Rahman? Suddenly, Muhammad is saying a Rahman, and this is what all Muslim scholars confirm. I know you don't believe in hadith, so I'm not asking you to read hadith. The, yeah. the 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 verse here is very clear and you are you know i i assume you're an honest yes, man this would be an answer to the question so i do agree with you. okay but this is mean there's a problem because muhammad here is delaying speaking about rahman to the end of the quran but this is, should be from the beginning you just mentioned yourself that even the chapter of al fatih have al quran in fact al rahman all the old almost all the ch chapters have a rahman so we, who is the one who put a road a rahman there then when this is the end of the quran Somebody well, playing games. Say you can, you know, most, so the Sunnis they get offended as well with Khairul Makirin. You can call Allah with any name. No, 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 no. Uh, listen, this is, this, this is not the topic. Uh, listen, listen, listen. This is not topic. Here he's speaking about something specific. He's saying, I call him Allah or I call him a Rahman. It doesn't matter. So here, here, there is something new. The popular name is what is Allah. Correct? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now there's something new. What is the new in this in, in this sentence? A Rahman. If if it is normal to call him a Rahman, then he should not mention that because he called him a Rahman always. You know, imagine I say to somebody, uh, Jesus. Somebody says to me, he's a Christian. He says, "Who is Jesus?" Doesn't uh, make sense. See, uh, yeah, I do understand. Uh, you know uh, your argument, but the thing is, the people of the Makkah and the Medina they used to call him Allah. My friend, my friend, all the Arabian Islam. Peninsula, all the no, Allah. my friend, my friend, all the Arabian Peninsula, and they are wrong. You will find you can go study, do some search. You will find that there is a guy. His name is Rahman al Yamama. Rahman al Yamama, the one the Muslims they call him Musaylam al Kazab, which means Musaylama, the liar, to insult him. He claimed to be a prophet before Muhammad, and Muhammad he hijacked from him his name. His name is Muslim. So the word Muslim is coming from Musaylama, the Muslim who insult him, call him Musaylama. And the word Ar-Rahman is coming from Musaylama too, for he, he claimed that he is Rahman and his God is Ar-Rahman. So Muhammad, he stole the name of Muslim from this guy and he stole the name of the God from him too. When he wrote the name, because that guy, he sent him a letter saying to him, that's, you know what, I am a prophet, uh, my God, Bismillah. He, he is the one who mentioned to him Ar-Rahman. Muhammad, he liked it, he put it there. This is why the people are surprised. Why you are saying, why you are praising Ar Rahman? Do you have a new God? Uh, are you like now uh, you worship the, the two God, Allah and Ar Rahman? So the Arab, they did not get it because those are two gods. That is a prophet for Ar Rahman, and this is a God, a prophet for Allah. And suddenly, Muhammad is using the name Rahman for his God too. And there, he, Muhammad, he, he, he confirmed. That it doesn't matter really the name, but obviously here Muhammad got busted. For it does matter what the name. This is different name, have nothing to do with his God. And here that confirm again that the word Ar Rahman was inserted almost in every chapter in the Quran falsely. Somebody played, because as you see, this is here is the first time the word Ar Rahman ever mentioned.
and as I said, all Muslim scholars confirm. So how this happened? Well, CP other names are mentioned before the Rahman as well. And uh, I'm not talking about the Rahman. I'm not talking about other names, my friend. I'm talking about Ar Rahman. Let us focus. Ar Rahman. It's not what other names. I'm talking about one name. That name is Ar Rahman. This Ar Rahman. Huh? Is mentioned yeah, only I, here I as first time. I wouldn't think it as time. a name, but as an attribute. A if you ask me, uh, I mean, no, 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 no. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. But this is not the problem here. The problem here. Let us say, let us say, the word of Rahman means red, 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 or yellow. That will not change anything. This is the first time your prophet he mentioned the word yellow. Because now he is explained why he is calling him Rahman. This was an answer for a question why you are calling upon a Rahman. We thought your God is Allah. People they had never heard him saying that before. So Muhammad he answered, you know, well, okay, what I can say, uh, a Rahman or Allah, it doesn't matter, all names belong to him. So Muhammad here, he noticed that people they got him busted, he thought he can say it and he get away with it. But people right away they said to him, the only Rahman we know is Rahmanul Yamama. Are you worshipping to God? You can go to the book of Asbab al Nuzul and you can read the story. So Asbab al Nuzul is a joke. My friend, Islam is a joke. No, Asbab al Nuzul. Islam could be could Asb possibly be a joke, Islam of today, but I don't think Quran is a joke. Well, well it's Quran, Quran is a joke. Okay, let me you know what let, let us let us, uh, for, let us change the topic. I want you to show me one thing in the Quran as long as you are Quran only make you believe that Quran is from God something from your choice I'm not going to uh, uh, pick up no, my cherry tough question because I cannot make anyone believe I cannot present no 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 I'm like not asking you to make people. me believe no something no no, I no. Like you would like for let, 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 so, let us be small let us be small this is not the question this is not the question this is not the question I want you to listen carefully please when I speak to you I am saying give me the most strong argument using the Quran because you're a Quran only which can prove to me and convince me or convince somebody let us say you are now trying to convince somebody that Allah is God and his is this is the Quran is his book what you will choose for me as the best of the writing of Allah in the Quran to make me think or consider Allah to be God what you would do well the concept of paradise is uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to me at least is the most uh, what is the, what is the concept of paradise in Islam that you will get whatever you wish for and mm. more is with Allah it means that you know stuff you cannot even imagine okay let me ask you then no we can imagine actually what Allah he promised you is very funny and very silly with my respect to you is it true that Allah he promised you bed in the heaven uh let's see the Arabic word <laughs> what do you mean let us see it's, it's not actually a bed what is not what actually what what is not what well it's not a bed actually it is a bed the word soror in what soror mean what it is chapter 15 verse number 47 yeah yeah what the word there <laughs> Well, they'll be uh, facing each other. Facing each other in which state? No, this guy friends, here. Will, this guy here. He uh, says. Everything. This equal. guy. He said here. There is no fatigue shall touch him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, there's no fatigue. Which, that's the good news. No okay. shall. And how we okay. are. And we, how we are sitting. How we are sitting. Facing each other, right? Okay. How we yeah. how we face each other? We are sitting in what? What do you mean facing each other? No, it means equal ranks, sort of. Mutakabilin is the word, I believe. Oh, ah, okay. Ah, all right, all right. Okay, so you will be facing them the, face. Okay, you will, you will be, you will be facing them. Okay, you see here, they are saying that the word uh, uh, soror, it does not mean really uh, beds, but let us see. Here, 
chapter 37 verse number 44 what they will be meeting each other they will not suffer any into uh, 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 getting drunk what does that mean which words he be chapter read with me a chapter of 37 verse number 47 37 verse yeah, what, number is, what, 40, is, what yeah. does that mean Allah is a promise new that they will go to heaven and you will not uh, uh, face any uh, getting drunk and you will be sitting in the top of your beds he called it here thrones I don't know why it is a bed you know so you will sit on beds and you will be uh, served by round cups clear from a flowing mountain that is the fountain of youth cluster clear of taste yeah. of delicious of those who drink free from head uh, uh, headness nor they will suffer from getting drunk this is the amazing heaven you are talking about so Allah is a promise to me I will be in heaven sitting in a in a couch or in a bed huh? facing each other sitting in the top of a couch facing each so other like and we are on. and we are drinking and we are it's, it's in front of you we will be eating fruits huh we are going to have little boys around us no that little boy thing no 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 uh, what uh, that's what? not something i would agree with you okay hold on what do, what do you mean I, i'm not asking you to agree with me show me i'm, I'm wrong what the quran says uh, which verse was that uh regarding the little boys you're talking about oh, God. Uh, if we go here yep in chapter four in, in the same chapter verse number 45 uh chapter 40 uh, sorry 37 verse number 45 it says and Please. around them they, they will be served by a cup of water crystal clear huh yeah okay who is the one who will serve them based on your understanding could be angels angels okay if we go in the quran the different verse let us do this yeah we can find here uh, ويطوف عليهم غلمان لهم كأنهم لؤلؤ مكنون. Chapter fifty two. Yeah, there's a similar verse as well. Okay. First of all, so what uh, is what uh, what this verse saying? The meaning of غلمان. Yeah, what is nobody really knows to be honest with you. There's a confusion among scholars as well. Okay, let me ask you. When Mary she gave birth, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For what? I will lead you. I will lead you. I will lead you to direction. What was the uh, what is description was called for the baby of Mary? Pardon? The baby of Mary. Mary, she gave birth to a baby. What the Quran describe him? Yeah. Did the Quran describe him as a ghulam? Ghulam. Yeah. That ghulman. That's Gilman. The word is Gilman. Gulam is my a friend, different thing. My friend, no, it's the same. Gulam is one. Gulman is many. Well, uh, <laughs> let me search for. You see, sometimes I make, I make, sometimes I say stupid things in English because English is not my first language. Uh, and now you are doing what sometimes I do in English because it's not my uh, first language. Maybe can you open this for seventy-six nineteen? Let, let, let us finish here. You see, قال, قال, قال ربي, uh, yeah. This is a chapter speaking about the word Ghulam. This guy he says to Allah, How I can have a boy? Slave. No, Ghulam is not a slave. He's going to give him birth. Are you, do you know what I'm talking about? This is chapter of Al Amran, verse, right, num verse number 40. So, and he said, And my wife, she cannot have babies, she's old. The guy is saying to Allah, how am I going to have a boy? Not a man. Women, they don't give birth to a man. They give birth to a baby, boy, a child. Have you ever heard of a woman? She give birth to a you man. See, the words have, at least if they're similar, they have root words, uh, Gulman and Gulam. Gulam is the same word. Gulam is one. Gulman is many. You can go right now to the dictionary and you can search it. 
I'm not lying well, to you. I like to expl- uh, I would like you to explain 7619 if you with, can. With a, it's with, uh, sort of a similar words. Read it for me. They circulate among them young boys. Yeah. Made eternal. Okay. When you see them, you would think them okay. scattered birds. So you just so, say the word boys. What's the problem? No, I, I would like you to explain this word. So well, those are the boys we are talking about. This what we are talking about. Those are the boys who they will be serving you, the, the gulman. And what is the Arabic for the boys in this verse? Gulman. No, no, it's what? Bildanun. It's oh, well done. Done. sorry, well done. Yeah, the, that verse well done. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Walad, my friend, Walad, Walad, Walad is a word used for uh, uh, like in, in the classic Arabic. In the classic Arabic, there's a street language and there is a classic Arabic. The classic yeah. Arabic, well, then is not one, is many. Walad yeah, it's is one your person. Lineage. Yeah, okay. So, but it's but that verse, but, okay. Do you agree? Do you agree that verse it says? That those yes, are so the same. God is going to give her a uh, gulam. All right. So means your lineage, your descendants. No, my friend, he will be serving you. What lineage? He just those those boys are to serve you. So the wildan and the same as the ulman is just another word in English or Arabic for the same than the young boy who is going to serve you. It's not different. It's not you will notice. Lineage, o- you will, you will notice. Okay, what the what what the ulman will be doing? They will serve you around you and chapter 56 verse number 17 it says yatufu alayhim will then muhalladun around them they will be serving boys who they are will then both of them they are doing the same so it, it, either you have to accept it either okay you know what let, let us go i'm not going to discuss with you because you don't know arabic i will let it go but now you are the one who just bring to me a proof against yourself you just said that Allah he will make for you boys who will they be serving you around you what kind of heaven this heaven is why well, see, that was a translation I was reading uh, I don't actually agree with this so what is the word then of what what is the word done by okay some so what what is the word there well done what is the word well done then? huh what is the word well it done mean? Lineage. okay let me ask you why those well done who can be from any age they are so beautiful well, they are like a pearls. Uh, uh, what like, what does know, that mean? Kids, what does that mean? Like pearls to your eyes. What does that mean? They are like. Mean. What does that mean? They are like pearls. They are white, right? They are very white. Yeah, because on the day of judgment, mm-hmm. uh, the faces of kuffars uh, will be blackened. Okay, so all non-Muslim will be black, and all yeah. Muslims will be white. Not actually black, but because they're burned. No, uh, my friend. No, fine. no, that's not true. According according to your prophet, and I know you do not believe in the hadith, but the Quran is making it clear. That day is all the faces will turn black of those who they are not Muslims, and all those who they are Muslims will turn white. And then according to your prophet, it says that when they sit together, they say, oh, believer, oh, this believer, which means they recognize each other by the color. So according to God, all bad people are black people. All good people are white people for those are the Muslims. And how this will happen? There is a, you know, we spoke last time about the beast. You remember? There's a beast will yeah. come from uh-huh. the, yeah, there's a beast will come from the ground. It's going to have the ring of Musa's, sorry, the, the stick of Musa's and the no, ring of No, that's a hadith. That's a hadith. It doesn't matter, but you have to explain to me then. What is the uh, job of this uh, animal? Do you, well, uh, do, do you have explanation? As well, the jo- do, do you have the job explanation? Of the animal, yeah. What yeah, is the job it, of it's animal? just to inform people that they have been rejectors of the book, rejectors of the miracles. Isn't it enough that you have Jesus and you have Muhammad and you have one hundred twenty-four thousand prophet? Now we have an animal to inform us. Is that a joke? Yeah, because the humans they're not listening, they want something else. So you would, you would think they will listen, might they, listen to an so animal. So they would think they will listen so they could not listen to Muhammad. Uh, the, the animal would do a better job. No, it won't really be an animal, but <laughs> it is an animal. It is an animal. It says uh, Dabba. I've never seen before. It is Dabba, my friend, and it is an animal. And this Dabba is going to speak. You see, uh this this Dabba is going to speak. Uh, yeah, uh, Quran, right? And it's going to say to you that's you know what, uh, blah 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 stories about Allah, but this is 
this is very funny and this is something taken from fictions that there is a an animal will come from the ground and that animal is exist in many religion many cults and Allah is no different why well, why, why, uh, why you know, listen why like your explanation for the month of Ramadan so anyways I have a, a train to cash tomorrow we'll, we'll you know discuss some other time maybe no sometime problem. next week but, but my friend let me tell you something yeah. Everything I say to you about Islam is a truthful and what you said to me about the heaven of Allah is the most funny thing Have you ever heard of God? He promised me, a, you know a, a, a Bracelet from gold. I mean, this is the most silly Silly promises. I will wear a bracelet from gold. I mean that is really silly if I now if I have a, a, a Let us say I you know I, I believe that men they should not wear gold, but let us say uh, uh, That's hadith, by the way. Men no, 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 no. For me, way. for me, I, I, I find it, especially if like you're in the bracelet, etc. I find it very gay. But this is my opinion. It's not about people that are free. But if I want to promise, let us say I have a niece. Let us say I have a sister. She have a daughter, huh? And I tell her, and she is, uh, you know, I tell her, if you do not commit sin, I'm going to give you a bracelet made from gold. I mean, <laughs> this is a promise. She can go and buy one. What is a big deal? God, he promised me when I go to heaven, I am going to go and have some bracelet in my hands. Read with me. أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتُ عَدٍ تَجْرَى مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ يُحَلُّونَ فِيهَا مِنْ أَسَاوِرِينَ مِنْ ذَهَبٍ وَيُلْبَسُونَ ثِيَابًا خُضْرًا مِنْ سُنْدُسْ وَاسْتَبْرَقَ مُتَّكَئِينَ فِيهَا عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ Let us see what does that mean. Which translation you like? Choose one for me. Yusuf Ali, Shakir, Bektal, Muhsin Khan. You can go with Sahih. Sahih, okay. Uh, Sahih, I don't have Sahih in this website. There's only four. Yusuf, Shakir, Bektal, Muhsin. I don't know, you can. Okay, you can read if you want. If you have Sahih in front of you, or read it for us, no problem. Uh, no, I don't have it at the moment. So, oh, right. okay. Uh, I'm just looking at the screen. So oh, that's right. fine. You so can go with chapter it. Chapter 18, verse number 31, it says, and for such which mean those believers they will be garden of Eden wherein river flow beneath them they therein they will be given armlet of gold and they will wear a green robes of finest silk and gold reclining what is that in, in, in embroidery reclining upon a throne therein I mean, what? Let, let us count what Allah He promised us in this uh, in this uh, story. We can read any translation, by the way. I'm not picking up a translation specific for me. All of them they are funny. If you see here that you are promised uh, uh, beds, actually those are not a throne, and then you will be wearing bracelets from bracelets from gold, and they will wear a green garment like you are in a surgeon or in, in a in a surgery room, and then you are going. This green garment is made from fine silk. And heavy brocade, you know what is that? You know he he promised me a nice fabric to wear in the heaven, and uh, and all of us we will wear clothes made from from a green silk, and then we will look look at this. We will be reclining therein over over our our, our beds. You are the one who said there's no beds, right? So what we would do there? We will be sitting in our but beds. Can I say something? Uh, I mean, uh, you know that's human psyche. Humans are material. Exactly, creatures. exactly. This is what a Allah human being. No, 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 my friend. This is a human being in the mentality of an Arab who dream to have a bed. Those Arab they sleep in the floor. They are poor. They never have wood. They don't have anything. It's a desert. So their life is very simple. Only very rich people they can wear silk. Only very rich people they can have bracelets of gold. Only rich people they can have beds and pillows. And and, and he's promising me pillows. You believe it? You know, you see here they are reclining over over pillows. This God is a promise me to have a pillow in heaven. For God's sake, 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 if somebody today, if some gold, we need you know phones and technology. Yes, listen, listen, listen. So you are saying to me at that time, Allah He tried to deceive them by a pillow. If Allah He made Quran today, He will promise me iPhone. Desired. No, no desire. What desire? This is funny. This is silly. I will go to heaven to get a pillow. What is description? This is description for people. They are desperate to find furniture. This is a guy who is trying to sell me out some furniture because I am a Bedouin. 
I have nothing in my home. I'm dreaming about wearing bracelet made from gold, the clothes made from silk. My clothes are disgusting. I am a, I am a savage, wild man, Arab man, Bedouin man. I take a shower once a year, and now this guy is promising me I will wear a piece of gold in my hand. I will wear a green silk made in Iran. In Iran, a stubble is a fabric made in Iran. Imagine Iran, the, 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 the Iranian, the Persian, they are Allah is going to buy from them and import to the heaven. And then I will be reclining over my bed. That's amazing, man. I mean, this is my dream. What is that? This is not the promise of God. The wish for 1400 years ago. Uh, other than this, Allah also says you can have whatever you wish for. My friend, that whatever what you wish for is even but, more disgusting. You don't wish for this what, stuff, whatever you, you, whatever you wish for, yeah. whatever you wish for, that is stupid to say. Because a human being can wish anything then. What if somebody wished to have sex with a man? Well, that's something you won't be able to wish. Because Why? You just said, okay, hold on. That's purified. You just admitted that this is a Allah stupid state. Whom to take, listen, uh, listen. No, 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 no. You see, you see, no, my friend, you just said whatever you wish. Either you say whatever yeah. you wish or you say because limited I wishes. I wouldn't be wishing anything like that. And, and, and that's another issue. Actually, according to the hadith, you will have sex with with men. Do you want to show you? <laughs> no. Yeah. See, you, yeah. I know. I know you don't believe in the hadith, but your prophet you said. That's let, me, let me tell you this for you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Muhammad he never said anything makes sense. Since when Muhammad he makes sense I've in anything? This stuff. I've okay. heard that. Before. No. Listen. I, I was schooled no, with no, this. No sort problem. No problem. Okay. Men in okay. What? What the? What the? What you heard before? Tell me. The, some sort of hadith that you can even have men in the paradise you can even drink alcohol everything that's forbidden in what? this world will be legalized in paradise now these are stupid hadiths my friend uh, all the Quran is a stupid Quran and it's a stupid hadith as I showed you somebody somebody promised me somebody promised me somebody promised me a, a, a bracelet in the heaven and a pillow don't you think this is a stupid I mean you're, you're a man Read this, this hadith for me, guys. Read carefully. Muhammad is saying that in the heaven, there is indeed a paradise. There's a market which there is no buying nor selling except images of men and women. So what is the product of this uh, uh, mall? It's a big mall, a huge mall. There's, for sure, the customers is like 1.4 billion, you know. So you can imagine how big all this mall have no product except images of men and women this is a playboy magazine however the pictures are not pictures of women only it's pictures <laughs> of men and women and then so whenever a man desire an image he enter it <laughs> cb this is where the non-muslims and the enemies of allah infiltrated islam my friend this is Put your this is this is your book your prophet he just said the same in the quran you are just running away because in the quran you are the one who said to me whatever you wish whatever you yes, wish but knows. You know, uh, what, what do you mean what do you mean you know what when you say whatever whatever you wish anything. my friend yeah, uh, okay let me ask you I, imagine you are invited for an open buffet and then i say to you eat whatever you wish and then you try to touch a dish i i hit you in your hand he said not this one and that not this is one not this one Oh, this wish you cannot do it. This is a need. This is a need. It's not an open buffet. You're free to fool us. Manipulates every aspect of our mind. So, if Allah, my friend, my friend, my friend, has been, I will not wish for any such thing. It, it, it's not up to you. Human beings are different. There's people they wish for men. You are not a gay, but there's many. Well, that's quite clear in the Quran, just not a single angel is misguided. Let, let me, Allah no, appears, no, actually, and actually, and your and angels, and your and angels, and even they wish to have sex. Do you remember the story of Harut and Marut? Um, Harut and Marut. Yeah, the angels. In yeah, Babylon. those are angels. Allah, he sent them down because they complain. You remember we spoke about uh, uh, Adam would do mischievement. So Allah, he told them, okay, choose two of your angels and I will send them down and I will give them the same desire I give to a human being and let us see what they will do. So Harut and Marut, they went, they went down uh, a woman she come to them her name is a Zuhra in, in English or in Latin that means Venus and Then she seduced them. She is the most beautiful woman She said to them if you kill this boy you can sleep with me if you drink wine you can sleep with me 
if you deny Allah and worship my God, you can sleep with me. And then she made them drunk and she made them do all the other things in the beginning when they refuse. So the angels of Allah, they step with the women. Her name is Venus. And then she made them say to her when they are having sex with her, you know, uh, they are horny having sex. So she asked them to tell her the password so she can go to Allah. And when, when Venus, she tried to go to Allah, Allah, he heard the news and he cursed her. And that is the planet Venus. This is a fiction story Muhammad he stole from generations exist long before Islam and this is a this is a Greek legion yeah the story is about uh, corruption of the angels yes yeah, to angels yes person. as you see as story. you see Islam is a collection of fiction stupid stories the same as the story of the the seven sleepers you can go on right now and search in the internet this is a story written by a Christian Bishop centuries before Islam it's a fiction story resembling well, it's a fiction Ashab story with the early Christians huh as Hubble cover the early they Christians. are not real those are not real this is a fiction story this is a fiction story it does not exist those are this is a story written by a priest his name is known he's a bishop from Syria his story is very well known published everywhere translated in many languages about a group of Christians they are going to be discriminated he was cheering the Christians up don't worry they are killing us now tomorrow we will be victorious this is the purpose of this story Muhammad he took it and he put it there in the Quran and let me prove it to you not you can search and see the story all over and you will see when it's written first time it's a fiction story however if you go to the verse you will see something funny and I, I, maybe you can explain to me what happened here and you will see the problem uh, is it true in the story it says that those guys they have a dog with them yep but dog is najis in Islam no no it's not najis in the Quran it's uh, najis in the silly hadith uh -huh. okay let me ask you then a question so have you ever heard somebody saying they are three and their dogs is four you do you count dog with a human well, that's what people say. No, that Allah has not. No, no, no Allah, He number. confirmed. Allah, He confirmed, my friend. What are you talking about? Allah, He confirmed. He confirmed Allah that Allah, confirmed because listen, number. listen, why Allah even counting the dog anyway? I mean, people they say they are four. This is the important. Who care for the dog? Allah spoking people. What people say? It doesn't matter if somebody says I saw five Fuad and they uh, and and the, the Fuad and Ahmed and Muhammad and Malik. Uh, together and they have a dog with them why you do not need and the, you, you don't say and the third and you don't even mention the dog why the dog is important let us see what is a dog the dog is not even a dog in the in the original Aramaic story the word is not Kalbahum it is Kali home which mean it is their provider this is not a dog this is an angel in the original story this is a guy this name here is not a dog is not Kelb it is the provider so god well, allah has also forbidden in the i believe the same verse or listen listen you are not listening god, you are not listening you are not listening this word inquiry okay him. this word makes sense for a very simple reason if you make it an angel why because later you will see that this this uh, this uh, uh, the, which the quran called it to be dog later is going to open his arms have you ever heard of a dog have an arm Well, dogs have legs. It's uh, thank you very much. Dogs have legs, but the Quran said that this dog is opening his arms. I never, I never heard of a dog he have <laughs> arms <laughs> since when? You know, you can consider the uh, you know uh, front legs as arms as well. They're different. My friend, the my friend. Zira'i zira is an Arabic word mean arms and you are the one who said dogs have legs So here وَكَلْبَهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعَيْ was not for a dog The story saying that the angel who guard them He is sleeping in the front of the cave or let's say he is sitting in front of the cave opening his arms He's an angel This is why they are safe otherwise the army can come to them So what if they are in the, in the cave and they are asleep if they come to them they will capture them and a dog will not and, and, a, and a dog and a dog will not stop an army of a, of a king correct so what happened there that God he provide them 
with the provider of security that is an angel and this angel he opened his hands to close the cave to protect the cave so they are inside the cave but nobody can get in but the idiot who copied the story and that is your prophet muhammad he told them that this is a dog for he misunderstood the word which is a provider it is kali ahom not kalbahom so from Kali yeah, Ahom, who is an is angel true, opening right. his arms suddenly it became a dog opening his arms and to do what okay what he did with the arms it says bil in the in the in the in the front of the cave to protect the cave a dog he opened his arms to protect the cave i never heard of something you know what is that is that a bear have you what ever heard friend two legs huh it must be regarding the first two legs my friend have you ever heard of a dog opening his two front legs to open to, to protect a cave and a and, and a dog are you serious you are telling me a dog will protect the cave from a king king and his army come on for we are talking here about those guys chased by a king a king well they were never supposed to be found anyways uh, no so... they can be found they were not able to be found because they have an angel of god with them <laughs> Go and read the original story and you will laugh. So Muhammad, he is still in the story, which is written many centuries before him. And he claimed that this is about his God. And those are Christians who they are the good Muslims, supposedly. And Allah, he made a miracle. But this is a very fu funny fiction story. Nobody believe in it. All the Christians know that this does not exist. It was a story written by a guy. His name is Yaqub. He's a bishop. He's an Aramaic bishop to cheer up the Christians who they are under discrimination meaning the story it's a metaphorical that today we are under discrimination hold on it's like sleeping it's like sleeping overnight you will wake up and you will find yourself victorious and we will not be discriminated Muhammad he got the story he put it in his Quran actually all the well, all, all, well, all, all, all chapter 18 be, uh, I mean that's your version of this story. I and this is not my version this is a true story you can search it right now this is not my version that's, that's my friend version. my friend this is a story exists in a museum it is an old ancient story long before islam this is not my story what's my story you see this if if i'm bringing you something i am saying from my own you know like uh, trying to be smart okay but this is a story you, should, you can go right now and search for the seven sleepers it's very famous it's a famous story seven okay. sleepers but allah has already but mentioned that but, it is, already but it is not a true it's not it's not a true it's not a true and here you will find that chapter 18 is a collection of funny stories have nothing to do with anyone except copying the fabulous of people before islam i advise you i advise you to study chapter 18. it is one of the most funny chapters ever in the quran and there's nobody have a brain i'm not insulting you but if you think carefully you are just under the influence that islam is amazing islam you see i wish you speak arabic my friend i want you to learn arabic learn arabic and laugh for god's sake learn arabic and laugh it's a madness religion it's a stupid religion all the stories in chapter like what about the story of Suleiman? he saw the end and the aunt she was making a speech this is a story you can find it in the books written long before islam it is the legion of the jews about suleiman walking in the valley of the ants and the aunt she you know he put her in his hand like the, the difference between the story in the book of the jews and the story of muhammad muhammad he make it summarize the jews story is long details too much details but it's exactly the same story but have you ever heard of a prophet of god he heard an ant and don't talk he heard her speech. What do you mean you he heard her speech? And Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. Is the ant a bird? I mean, this is a crazy. So imagine I say to you, my God, he made a miracle, taught me the language of fish. And then I say to you, I saw a cow and I spoke to her. Well, she is a cow, not a fish. You, you told me that God, he taught you the language of the fish. But so, I have a question for you. What do you think about the concept of Vasila? The vessel, you would say. Al Vasila, you mean intercession? 
not intercession that's a different thing wasila tawassul like uh, you know praying to the saints and stuff orthodox christians have this in the, in them my as well my friend my friend we are not praying to them we are asking them to pray for us uh, you, you know i say to my brothers here pray for me all right pray for but me but they're already dead no you see the bible says as an Just example like no no hold on 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 when the when when jesus here resurrected from the uh, from his tomb according to the bible many of the saints they raise up with him so the bible confirmed that there's many saints resurrected by the messiah and they are up with him and the bible tell of all the stories of saints who they are already in heaven so when we say saint pray for us we are talking about we are not praying for them we are asking them because they are the best of us to pray for us help us you know Give us, give us, uh, uh, you know, your prayer because we believe in the power of the prayer. So, uh, when I ask my follower, my my my, my friends here, uh, 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 please pray for me. I'm a sinner, and I need your prayer because we believe that if we pray, all of us, you know, is better than one person praying. But CP, the question is, if the saints were raised with Jesus, hmm. but Jesus, you consider him God. He's like all knowing. He can, uh, he's listening and everything. Hmm. But the saints, they're just humans. They might be just human again. No problem. No problem. That will not. Aim, uh, that that will just will add more, more, more voices praying for me and my Lord. He is listening to me if I am individual or a million, and then he he will make decision. You know, but I know I, as an example. You as a Muslim, who is your intercessor? The one who do intercession for you? There's no intercession for me uh, other than Allah. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the Quran does speak of those will be given the power of intercession who had made a covenant with Allah and they fulfilled it. And Allah says the intercession can only be offered when I have decided for that person, when the intercession is already decided. Okay. Well, you see, you are wrong and obviously you don't know the Quran because in Quran it says as an example the Quran is a book of contradiction in chapter 8 9 verse number 90 it says you ask for, or you intercede for them or you don't intercede it doesn't matter even if it's 70 time Allah will not forgive them no uh, uh, right? I'm actually looking at the word the word for intercede is Shafa which also means mean healing by the way Astaghfar means forgiveness and no intercede is a, a, you know like you ask for forgiveness it's intercession it is inter intercession you know so you intercede or you don't but intercede. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, you know consider this uh, intercession as well so i have one more question for you if you ask them uh, the arabic word is sub ain 70 times so what if Muhammad was this is this is Muhammad times, he was so copying then. from Jesus Jesus he said if you're a brother he commits sin, you forgive him 70 time it was a copy of Jesus and Muhammad copying it and he is repeating it again but however if you go in the Quran you will see that Muhammad actually if I don't know do you have my book do you have my book uh, the deception of no. Allah okay uh, there is tons of, of examples of uh, 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 Muhammad being the intercessor he, he will intercede for for uh, uh, for the Muslims as an example if you see actually from the Quran just to give you an example uh, well uh, I, I do know that Salafis and the Sunnis they do believe that Muhammad is their intercessor and they wish for his Shafa and they call upon him five hmm. times a day in the Salat no. which uh, I do not believe yeah. in which is nonsense if you go to chapter 2 like, if you go to chapter 2 verse number 20, uh, 37 it says فَتَلَقَّ آدَمَ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّ هُوَ التَّوَّابِ إِنَّ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمِ Adam, he received words from his God, so he forgave him. Okay, what is the words he received from his God? You as a Quran only. How, how, you, how you can explain to me this verse? Chapter 2, verse number 36, 37. God gave, gave him words, must be the commandments. No, it says he gave him words. How he gave him words, but yet he, I mean, he gave him words, and that words is the reason for him to be forgiven. What is that? What does that mean? Must be the commandments because. What the commandment? Command. He Ten already commanded him. My friend, he already commanded him. He already commanded him not to eat from the tree, and he commits sin. So now, after he commits the sin, Allah, he gave him words. What are the, those words? 
He received words from his God. It says, the First, There was just one commandment do not eat from the tree. Right. Then they increased. Okay. And Sunnah of Allah never. Where changed. where do you get the story from that then they increased? Is that from the Quran? Yeah. Where? Uh, no, no, it's not from the Quran. Okay. I, I, thought you are, I thought you are I thought you are Quran only. Suddenly you are not. The Quran speak only about one command, and that is the story of the tree and Eve. Now here we see that Allah. After he command Adam, he did not command him again anymore, except the last command was to get out of heaven and get down. Then, but before that, it says that chapter 2, verse number 37, Adam he received some words from his God, and those words was the reason for him to be forgiven. What are they, those words? Well, you have to study the context. It's in the front of you, my friend. I give you the, I, what I can do. I give you the chapter. I give you the verse. What do you mean, send it to the contact? The words must be from Quran because the Quran, the this Torah, is Quran. And the Bible, they're all saying my friend, the same My friend, don't change the topic. I'm, I'm not talking about Quran, Torah. I'm talking about a verse in the Quran. Adam, he received words from his God, and based on that, he was forgiven. What is the words he received? I mean, the words could uh, be if you think about if you Allah. think about it, it should be the opposite. It should and say, Allah listen, alone. listen, listen, listen. It should be the opposite. It should be Adam. He asked Allah for forgiveness. Correct. It should be the opposite. It should be Allah receive words from Adam, not not Adam receive receive word from Allah. Because well, after he received them, commandments. No, my friend. What happened is, according to the story, and the Muslims are the most funny people to tell stories. According to your prophet, that Adam, when Allah created him. He did look up before he finished his creation. He wanted to stand up. He looked up. Allah, after he breathed into his mouth, uh, uh, his spirit, uh, he wanted to stand up, but the, the soul was not reached yet to his, uh, uh, his, his feet. Time yes. he so up. he looked up and then he saw and he saw the name of the prophet on the throne of Allah. So yeah, I heard that story that he saw the name of Muhammad on right. the throne. So Adam he told Allah for the sake of Muhammad, forgive me. This is the words, my I friend. Know that's a stupid story. That's <laughs> that's I agree with you. I agree with you. The same as the stupid verse in the front of you. Because forgiveness of Adam here happened before Allah he kicked him out. So how he forgave him and yet he kicked him out. Well, Allah just forgive him instead of destroying him completely. Ah, no, that's not forgiveness, my that friend. Forgiveness because let me tell you, my Allah friend. No, 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 no. Allah, He said, Allah, He said, I am going to create someone to inherit the earth. Then the purpose of creating this creature is to inherit because the earth. The question is, the say. question is, the question is, where was Adam? When? When Allah created him in the heavens, so he was not in the earth. No, he was not. So Adam, he was not created in the earth. Thank you very much. No. So are you saying to me that Allah, when He created the earth and the heaven, Adam was not there? No, Adam was not there. So how Allah he created the totally uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen carefully, God. For us, for us, let us love together. So you just, I just, uh, for us, focus. For us, focus. I asked you when Allah created the earth and the heaven, Adam was not there. When Allah created yep. the earth and the heaven, Adam was not there. But as you see, Adam is there. Right. How come he's there? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, he wasn't there, but you're telling me there. It's okay because it's a stupid story. This is why I don't know. I mean, what what, what kind of answer for what? You know, for what? I imagine you, I don't know how you look like. I imagine you, a gentleman who is smart, trying to understand what's happening. But my friend, this is a stupid religion. I'm not insulting you. I, you know, sometimes people they get angry from me because I say sometimes to a Muslim idiot. Sometimes I say stupid. I don't know what to say. I see it clear. It is a stupid. How I say to the world, I created Adam in heaven, but yet the heaven, the heaven and the earth is not created. I mean, who is the crazy here? You see, should I pull my hair out? I mean, how people, why people don't want to see there's something wrong there. But the problem is a human being is the same as little baby child. They don't want to see the text is in front of you. 
I mean, why I can see it, they cannot see it. Even the Christians sometimes they cannot. Like I ask them, do you see the problem there? Nobody noticed. Like, do you see it? Read again. Nobody noticed. You have when I was in university, when I put my hand up, the teacher he says to me, the doctor, he's a Muslim, the Sheikh. Uh, put your hand down. No, 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 not you, not you, not you. No, 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 not you, not you. I will not talk. To no, no, no. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't. Ask. I have no answer for you, because those questions are very embarrassing. They want an average stupid student who is copy paste. He asks a stupid question. Put your hand and ask, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Brother, yesterday I shaved my underarm. Is it halal or haram? The sheikh he is so happy with the question, but a serious question. Don't ask me. I mean, who cares if he shaved his arm or not? It's a madness. Yeah, I can understand that stuff. Yeah, yeah but you need you, you are a smart person. You are a smart human being. Use your brain, my friend. God, my God, or whatever who is your God is, he provided you with a very powerful computer. Why people don't want to use it? Can't you see, really, there is something wrong? And why we are trying our best to defend, but we don't. Before you defend, what about you read carefully and see? Maybe this guy is saying the truth. People when they speak to me, and uh, I mean Muslims, right away they jump into defense. That is a wrong yeah, position. Start bashing. I mean, uh, that's not the right way. Yeah, but now, now you know, uh, uh, you know, I want you. You can call me anytime feel free okay i want you always when i talk to you don't listen to me as someone he is trying to prove you wrong listen to me as someone trying to say something to you it might be right it might be wrong think with me study what i say to you yes if i agree with you because i am open to logic yeah when is it so, is it the logic let, let me ask you be honest what is the logic of God to say to me? Learn something from me. Sometimes I might yeah. learn something from you. What is the logic that God he is telling me? He have time to tell me a story about a king. His name is Solomon. He heard the speech of the end, and the end. She told the end. Hide, otherwise Solomon will crush you. And Solomon, he smiled. Like what the heck is that? This is not even a story for kids. What is that? And then Suleiman, he checked the bird and he found the hood hood is missing. And he said, if I don't come back with excuse, I will slaughter him. Like, is that the barbecue time? Are we talking about the king? Suleiman, he have an army made from bird and genie and a human. Are you telling me the army of Suleiman contain chickens, dogs? What is that? I mean, how in the world you people can see it? Suleiman, he died and he was dying standing on his stick. So his nation never noticed that he is dead. Like what? The guy, he died standing. And then how the people discover that Suleiman is dead simply because the termite, they ate his stick and the stick broken. And then Suleiman fell down. Or what about the wives of Suleiman who Shaitan was having sex with them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a madness. Well, CB, thanks for the time. I do, you know, uh, understand your point of view. So we'll speak some other time next week. No problem, my friend. You are welcome. I will always. keep on ringing you. So sure, you are welcome. And, and if you want to do me a favor, why you don't ask somebody you think he is a sheikh? To come and debate me what do you think uh, CP you know yourself we're a minority so you know we don't really get along with sheikhs and everybody so I can't really help you with that one I would love to see mm, okay well if you know any sheikh you know uh, because uh, you know I, I don't want people to think that I am speaking to those who do not know much. Maybe I, I want to speak to those who claim knowledge. And Muslims like you can sit and watch, you know? And people then they will see that it doesn't matter if he is a sheikh, if he is a scholar, if he is no one, still there is no answer. So, you know, if you don't mind, if you can, bring me somebody. You can call me anytime. I'm not saying don't call me, but it's going to yeah. be very interesting. I think you agree. 
if you bring me someone he claimed to be a big shake with long beard you know like a big, bigger than mine my my and the other day i got a ticket from the police because my beard was flying over from from the car window you know i blocked the highway so i want somebody he have a long beard someone he claimed that he is really really a scholar you sit and you enjoy the show yeah all right yeah sure see people I'll find someone i would all right so yeah okay so thanks for your time thank you my friend you're welcome anytime to call and god bless okay. you may may the lord may the lord yeah. the messiah guide you and help you and open your heart and your eyes and even if you don't accept islam as a christianity my friend the news the news from me is one that the lord he love every one of us and we are his children he said love your enemy bless them and in the name of Christ, I bless you and I say to you, my Lord before me, he love you too. All right? Okay, CP. You're uh, welcome. You're welcome. Take care. Talk to you soon. Allah peace. Salam. Bye-bye. By the way, even the word the Muslims, they use as salamu alaykum, that is not a Muslim greeting. That is something Muhammad, he, he stole from the Jews. Do you remember guys when the angel he came to Mary? What the angel he said to Mary? Anyone remember? Who remember? I know that my voice come to you like there is a delay. What what the angels they say to Mary? Shalom to you, Mary. Assalamu alaikum. And if you go to Israel right now, you will see a Jew, he said to a Jew, Shalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum. It's the same exactly. This is not an Islamic greeting. <laughs> Even this one is a theft. No, no, not not only shalom. It is salamu alaikum. This is the greeting of the Jews, and this is was the same greeting the angel he said to Mary. This is have nothing to do with Muhammad. Everything Muhammad he have is a theft. Even the hat the Muslims they wear when they go to Hajj. This is the hat of the Jews. Even when the Muslims, they recite the Quran, they shake their head, if you notice them. This is the way that Jews, they do it when they recite the Torah. They are copying. Everything in this cult, it's called Islam, is a theft. From the false stories to the true stories. Islam is a collection of false and true. And that would make it difficult to the naive one. You see, when somebody want to kill you, he don't put the poison in your toilet seat. Correct? He put it where your mouth go. And where your mouth go? In a delicious food. So Muhammad, he knew that very well. So he says to you, oh, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Moses. I believe in Abraham. That is the good names and the good food. But he put poison between. You do not need a dish of poison to die. You need one drop of poison to die. Just one. The whole dish is delicious and very nice, but one drop will kill you. And that's exactly what Muhammad is trying to do. And actually, he was successful to deceive many, many of those naive victims of this cult. You know, when we say to Mr. Fuad, uh, you know, <laughs> heaven, like, what is the best thing about Islam? You say to me, heaven, heaven, this is heaven. You will promise me a bracelet and a shirt made from a green silk. I hate it to wear a, a man wearing green silk. I will spend my eternity in a green robe. <laughs> Wearing a bracelet from gold. Sitting in a bed and couch. And I have a pillow. And the pillow is covered by a sheet made in Iran and Persia. I mean, that's fancy. No, I never, I am not a stupid, my friend, to be a Muslim for a second. Sorry to say, I'm, I don't mean to insult, but this is how I see it. 
According to Muhammad, everyone is born as a Muslim. And maybe I was a Muslim when I was a baby because my mom, she told me that when I was a baby, I used to do poo-poo in my diaper. I think in that moment, I was a truly, truly, truly a Muslim. But maybe after that, I left Islam because as I know, I quit doing that since long time ago. Do we have any Muslim here don't agree with us? Heaven of the pillow. And you know, the funny Allah, he promised us that in the heaven of Allah, you will not have hot weather. Like, what the heck? What if I live in Alaska? That's not a good news for me. We wait the whole year waiting for the sun, man. And now you are telling us there is no sun? We will be sitting in the shade? In the shade? This is a promise made for the people who live in the desert. For the Bedouin, they hate the sun. The sun is their enemy. The moon is their lover. They spend their night talking, drinking. It's a fun time. The daytime is bad. It is it is the sun, the sun, the sun is death for them. This is a promise. This is why it is the moon god religion. For those people love the moon god, not the sun god. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Any Muslim? Any Muslim want to call me and get a pillow? Allah will Allah will add one more pillow if you call me to defend Islam. What do you want more? All my life I'm dreaming about getting a pillow. And you know, and the promises does not stop there. I mean, like a woman, like look at this a promise. Look at this. Let me turn the light on. It's getting dark here. <clears throat> The story is not is not over yet, you know. Things getting more complicated. Hmm. If we go, look at this. فيهن قاصرات الطرف لم يطمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا جان. Inside it, there is women who they are. Uh, uh, let us say, I don't know what the translation I will make it for you. Uh, those women, they are like they don't, they are restrained, they are not allowed to look around, they cannot look around. And here, look at the translation how fast it is. It says here in our in English, they are chaste. It does not mean that, it means that those young females they never been touched in their vagina. In Arab, in Arab, in other word, the word there in Arabic, lam yat muthahun. Nobody made the what is between their legs bleed. This is what tumth mean. So imagine this God. He promised me that they were not being made bleeding between their legs in their vagina, not by a man, neither by a genie. How in the world a genie is going to have a sex with the women? Genie, you are promising me that in the heaven I will have women, they never be made bleeding from losing their virginity by man or genie. How you can believe in such a thing unless you believe that genie can have sex with women? And yes, Muslims believe that genie in the ball. Can have sex with your wife. You can search right now the internet. Actually, not long time ago, we made a topic about it. How a guy he was complaining about a genie having sex with his wife. The other guy he was complaining that the female genie she wants to rape him. And he closed the door and he went to his mother bedroom. I mean, why those genies don't appear to me? I am single. I mean, this is not even fair. Why a female genie don't come to Christian Prince? Why they come only to the Muslims? I have no wife. I live alone and my bed is empty and nobody here is going to bring me water. 
to, to turn the light on I have to go isn't it going to be beautiful Allah if you send me a female genie and she opened the door suddenly and she says I'm going to take you like I said no, please don't please and no I'm going to take you I'm very hot what the heck this is a religion do we have any female genie in the bushes listening to us how I can be single it's very easy each time I ask a woman to marry me she said what there's no men left and maybe because she is looking for a handsome man like Zakir Naik or Muhammad women you know what we can do you have to be rich these days you know you have to be rich and Muhammad as an example Muhammad himself he married Khadija because she is rich hmm. maybe I should look for a Khadija but even Khadija she will not take me you know she will order brand new husband from eBay any Abdul any Abdul here any Zakir Naik here and the funny like the Muslims when they mentioned to me Zakir Naik you know Zakir Naik huh? Zakir Naik Zakir Naik he translated this verse saying they asked him the sister she said to him the video is in YouTube uh, how come the Muslim women she will not get whore the Muslim man he will get uh, versions but the women she will not get anything he said but the sister the sister did like with him the question is how come a Muslim brother in the heaven he is going to get whore the truth is that the word whore it does not mean male neither female it can be both which mean a Muslim man he will get hur and a Muslim woman he will get hur. So according to Zakir Naik, I have a good news for you, Muslims. Your mother, she was going to have a long line of beep, and her legs will be like wow, open 24 hours, seven days a week for eternity. This is what Zakir Naik said. But this verse here saying that those women they never been bleeding. So they are women. Have you ever heard of a man bleeding? From hmm. unbelievable. The word "hur," brother. The word "hur." Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm sure that the question we heard right now it is not your own question. More likely, ninety-nine point nine point nine nine nine. 0.97 is made by a guy his name is very well known Christian print let me tell you about this Christian print first of all Christian print is very rude as an example Christian print he said to me thousands of the time you are an idiot which is true sometime as my wife he said but mostly it is true number two Christian print he made fun of me because each time I speak a lot of water come over and that is not my fault the reason for this, I have four teeth. If they're broken in the front, it's exactly what happened to the prophet because somebody threw a rock at his mouth. So don't blame me for somebody did to me. May Allah create your tooth too. What? Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik. Any Abdul? It is an Abdul in the bushes. Hello, any Abdul? Oh, I don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, the 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 question always we should ask ourselves: When somebody try. To convince me of something how stupid I am to be convinced by silly promises that God he want to give me a woman her vagina is never been touched and not only that this God he promised me that each time 
I sleep with this vagina, this vagina will become a virgin again. So now I can trust that those are women who never have sex. Maybe Allah, he made her virgin again. Because obviously, virgin again is nothing but a cheating. How you just told me that I sleep with this woman and she is going to go back virgin. Maybe she stepped with the neighbor, the neighbor next door before she come to me. Being virgin in Islam does not mean anything, obviously, because Allah will make her virgin again. In my coming book, which you will see very soon out, and you can order it, you will see amazing stories beyond your imagination. And I'm sure the Muslims, they will buy my book like crazy. Whores are refer referring for fruit? No, no, I heard this, uh, this, I heard this argument from... Uh, uh, two uh, writers, I think they are from Germany. My friend, that will not make sense because, as you see here in Arabic, it says "lam yat muthahun." A tumth, a tumth in Arabic, is women bleeding either from period or from sex, losing virginity. So the women she have tumth once every month, and that is not losing virginity because you can be a virgin, you are a virgin, but yet you are bleeding. But this is a bleed of a vagina. So the Quran, by using this word, it confirming that this is about women. All right. Do we have any Abdul? Any beautiful Abdul? I love the Abdul. I love the Abdul. Especially when they show me their intelligence. They are unique. And their brain is the most expensive brain ever because it's never been used. The same as those women, their vagina never been used. And you know, look here, this God, he seduced us as men that those women, they have untouched vagina. And I said to myself, like, wow, wow, all my life, I'm dreaming about untouched vagina. Uh, uh, Allah, I have a question. What about their nipples? What about their, excuse me, their back door? So what do you mean their vagina has been touched? What about the rest? What is that going to accomplish for me? I will get a woman, she is in her wax? Zero mileage? What about loving the women? Is it really about sex? If I want to be with the women, if, if it is just about sex, then who cares if she is a, you know, if she is a virgin or not? What about you tell me how I will love her and she will love me and she want me and I want her a woman she will be with me a man he will be with this woman living together forever not a man and thousands of vagina because Islam when he described the vagina of or let us say the state of the vagina look he is not even describing the women he is describing her vagina what is the women Where is the women in here? God himself, he created Adam and Eve. Why Adam? He needed 80,000 Eve. And the funny about this Eve story, that all those Eve, they look the same. I mean, how stupid this is. is. Imagine, imagine, Billy Clinton, Allah promised him 80,000 Hillary Clinton. I mean, this guy will go crazy. With one Hillary Clinton, he will die. What about 80,000? What is the point of sleeping with 80,000 women? All of them, they have the same eyes, the same height, the same voice, the same name, the same body, the same breast, the same bum, the same legs. They look exactly the same. So what's the point? It's a madness. I hate, I, I'm going to give you 80,000 Madonna. Madonna number one, Madonna number two, Madonna number three. You are changing women supposedly, but it's still Madonna. <laughs> you know, uh, I wonder Yasser Arafat, he will get what in heaven? I don't know. I think Yasser Arafat, he will get a big, big screw. Yasser Arafat. Do we have any any yes out of that here? Hmm? 
Do we have any Muslim? No Muslims. Not even one. Anyway, actually, today I'm not planning to stay long. Uh, I wanted to make this uh, video just to answer those Abdul's about their comment about mockery. They are the one who call us names. They are the one who insult Jesus day and night. They are the one who call us all kind of filthy description in the, in the Quran and their hadith. It is their God who said uh, 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 many disgusting things. And actually, this is one of those things we see that you know this is a mockery of God. That the the God He will provide you would provide us with vagina. This is not God. This is a pimp. You are you are, you are insulting God. If this is God. This is a pimp from Las Vegas. This is a pimp of one of those like uh, uh, sex tourist countries. What kind of God is God? And what about a market? You go inside the market and in this market, there's images of men and women. You jump inside the image and you start having sex with men. This is Islam. And the funny, the gentleman who called me, he said the beautiful about the heaven of Allah that you will get whatever you wish you have no idea what you just said what if somebody wished to have sex with you yourself you know what i mean what if a man his name is abdul al muhammad al abdul al hassan al ali yasser arafat he decide his wish right now is to kiss you with his big lips what you would do about it allah he grant him whatever he wish Which mean now it's not your own wish only, which which count because somebody can wish to have you too, you know what I mean, guys? Like uh, Fuad, he said, uh, uh, I will not wish to kiss a man or have sex with a man. It, 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 that's not a problem. But if somebody wish to have you, <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> you know, when I go, when I drive. I am watching the road carefully, not because I'm worried about my driving. I'm worried about people who they are high. What if somebody is high in the heaven of Allah and you wish to have sex with you, Abdul? What you can do about it? Allah, he grant him whatever he wish. We have a caller. Okay, Muhammad, call me. No problem. You do not need to add me. Just call. <laughs> yeah, he can call. No problem. I hope he is not strong in knowledge because those guys they scare me. I like always to speak with the weak one, like my size, you know. Like me and Zakir Naik will be came will be a very nice, uh, you know, uh, team. Both of us we have a funny beard, and both of us when we talk we spit a lot. Oh, I forgot to clean my screen. Hold on. It's very wet. Alhamdulillah. Where is the guy? Why isn't he calling? Are you sure he's going to call? <clears throat> I am going to get busted. What do you mean I'm going to go? After all this busted I got already. I got I got busted a thousand of times by Muslim. I never saw a Muslim. He called me. He didn't say I get Muslim things busted. Do you remember the guy he spoke yesterday to me when he called me? He said, Are you shaking? <laughs> and he, what? Uh, 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 you got uh, uh, you got uh, cut red handed, cut uh, robbing a bank? What? what? <laughs> uh, where is the guy? He is in story and Skype. Should I go? Uh, should I come tomorrow? I mean, story in Skype take a minute. <clears throat> I know, I know, just Jay, don't worry. But I have to agree, you know, the Muslims always, always, always. Do. That, uh, you see, the Muslims, they have war every few years with Israel. And after they lose, they celebrate the war. If you don't believe me, Go and see the Muslims celebrating the victory in the 1973, 1967. I mean, you lost big deal, man. Hezbollah was like the, 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 the Israeli. They kicked the ass of Hezbollah as never before. And yet Hezbollah celebrating victory. Yeah, right.
a lot of victory. What is the Abdul? Yeah, where is the where is the coach guy? We want the coach guy. Co Do you think he will call again this guy? What's his name? Ken something? Idiot. What happened to the Abdul? We are waiting. Come on. The market, the bazaar about men and women images is going to close soon. You better order your, your, your image before we are out of it. No, no, I believe he will call because, you know, let me tell you, the problem with those Muslims, after they get humiliated, they, you, you know, if, if somebody do gambling, when he lose, he play more. Because, you know, this guy, the reason he called me, he told his followers in his YouTube, he have a YouTube channel, he told them that he is going to call me come and watch like he thought he is going to accomplish something you know he have he have no idea what is waiting for him so now after what happened and saying stupid things he don't he look he look officially an idiot in front of those muslims and muslimas so now he want a revenge for his honor so he will call back that's why he was calling again and again yesterday you know he he quit calling yesterday at the end when uh, uh, when we got him busted with the last thing, it was like too much. Where is the where is the guy who wanna call me? Where is the guy who wanna call me? Okay, maybe maybe there is nobody. I know it's okay. You know, most times they say they will call you, but uh, that's not really most mostly is not the case. Anyway, uh, I like to see a smart Muslim exist, but usually a smart Muslim is an ex-Muslim. He will end if he is not a most ex-Muslim yet. He will be an ex-Muslim soon. You know. Any Abdul? Any smart Abdul? All right. I am not planning really to stay long today, as I said. It's just like a short video. But even my short video is more than two hours now. For how long? Oh, man. This is a short video. Are you sure? <laughs> There's a guy he said in YouTube, Are you guys crazy? Are you guys crazy or listening to a video eight hours? What's your problem? I am the guy who spent his time. You don't want to watch eight hours. Don't watch. Don't even stop by. <laughs> I am the one who put his my time. I can go and watch a movie, a TV, etc. Work on my books. I am giving you my time and you complain. It's for free. It's like I'm, you know, when you hear those people complain, you think like you are being, he being charged by hour. Don't stop. Don't watch. Crazy people. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you tomorrow again, uh, I wish you the best for the weekend. And uh, I hope the debate yesterday, which we have for eight hours, is going to be up running in YouTube because YouTube is suffering from problem. is going to be up so you can watch from the beginning. However, today we have a good time with this uh, Mr. Fuad. He called us for some time and we have some love. It was good. Still, tomorrow we will do better. Tell your friends to be with us tomorrow around 4, between 4 and 4.30 p.m. I will be live on air again. May the Lord bless you all and have a great and blessed weekend. Christ is our Lord, my friend, and there's no better. And somebody told me to speak about the... Uh, uh, uh the easter uh the easter for us for me is not an easter day 
the Easter already done and it was done long time ago we are celebrating every day our Easter every two of us will remember his name he will be the third he will be between us so we are with the Living God celebrating his Easter since he come to us in this earth it's not a day to celebrate it is a life to live and if the Lord is with me the Living God who could be against me Christ is Lord and see you soon again very soon thank you